I'm taking notes while, while you guys talk. You guys hear me? Yeah, yeah I got man, you now. Man, you now. You, you's moving. You's moving boxes. <laughs> <laughs> Christmas, no, Black not. Friday. Man. Moving the turkey around. I got you. that PS5. Got the PS5, man. <laughs> Trying no, to hide I, it. I, I, I'd rather put, put the money in, in the Sony stock than get in the PS5. So. Oh, I respect, I respect, spicy talk. I love it. I respect that. I respect that. <laughs> well, my, my question is, I'm a little confused about the uh, 6,000 pounds. Like, I'm, I'm interested in getting the car under the LLC, uh, particularly something like a RAV4 or some SUV. Like, can you explain more about that? So RAV4, definitely. So Range Rovers and G-Wagons are pretty heavy. Um, and way bigger than RAV4. So I can imagine that a RAV4 is not anywhere near 6,000 pounds. So in your case, if you decided to um, outright buy the vehicle or finance the vehicle, pretty much that will sit as an asset of your business. So what will happen is the first year you'll be able to deduct $18,000. And then the second year you can deduct $16,000. The year after that you can deduct $9,600. And then it goes on and on, right? Until you fully exhaust um, the value of your um, of your of of the RAV4. Um, so the 6,000 pounds, is, it's for larger vehicles, right? Very heavy vehicles, over 6,000. As Rashad said, Range Rovers kind of come in right under, right? Same thing with my G-Wagon. It comes right under that 6,000 pounds, which means that we don't qualify to deduct 100% of the vehicle. Um, we have to go by the, um, the depreciation um, kind of like tiers that I just mentioned to you just now. Okay, gotcha. Okay. Appreciate right. you. Appreciate All you. right, thank All you. Right. Happy thank Thanksgiving, you. everybody. Yo, ba hey, Happy boss, I want to just give you... A huge shout out, man, and a big thanks to you. You are one of those those top earners that we always talk about, man. Every time we put something out, you always repost it, and so we make sure that we repost you. So we are thankful for you and your your family, man. Be safe out there, all right, brother. All right, thank you. Likewise, and th and thank you for for coming out to to Dykeman this weekend. Uh, I, I wish I was back home to to meet you guys in person, but uh, keep up the great Be my work. Lord. <laughs> yeah, nah, shout out, shout out to the good folks. We was actually up, was there, up today. there today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had to give away a TV, yeah. and then they got the um the Disneyland yeah. trip, and they got the um what else did they get? Uh, iPad, iPad. Yeah, yeah. So we gave the winners. We gave the winners today. So shout out to all the good folks at Dykeman. Appreciate y'all. Um, Miss Business, I got a question about this PPP situation. Yes. That's a pandemic within itself. <laughs> <laughs> In Atlanta, they coming. In yeah. Atlanta, they run, they running around. That's a they whole different story. <laughs> they live in. So this PPP situation was good to a lot of us. Um, wow. So what's, what's the deal with this repayment situation? Okay, so now um, in regards to PPP, it now has come the time everyone has gotten their money. Um, we'll, we're waiting to kind of see if there will be a second PPP that will come out. Um, in the Democratic bill before Trump came out and was like, I'm not talking about any of this until the election is over. Um, there was talks about whomever received the PPP to receive a second PPP. Um, so we'll have to kind of stay tuned and see what they decide to do. Congress is going on recess. So honestly, we probably won't hear anything about a second PPP or um, a stimulus check until the new year. Now, in regards to PPPs that anyone have received, um, now, well, not right now, but no, right now, we're starting to apply for forgiveness, right? So you either had an eight week period or a 24 week period to pretty much, ex um, to pretty much um, exhaust all of your PPP funds, right? They went back and forth. Start, first, it started out with 75% had to be allocated to payroll costs. Then they reduced it down to 60% and then said the rest can be um, made up in either mortgage interest um, payments, rent, utilities. Um, but for those of you that received a PPP that's less than 50,000, um, it pretty much is going to automatically be forgiven. So there's two things that you have to be mindful of. One, when your accountant is doing your taxes, the other good thing about PPP is they said, if it was less than 50,000, keep it. You don't have to report it as income. It pretty much washes, right? However, your taxes have to be correctly done, right? Because you don't want to include it as income. You have to make sure that your expenses are correctly offsetting that, um, correctly offsetting that income so that at the end of the year, 
it is, um, you're not pretty much paying taxes on that money, right? So that was another beautiful thing. Another thing is you still do have to apply for forgiveness. So that is something that I, my, my company, Brooks Alliance, that's what we're in the process of doing, kind of getting all of our clients that we know got PPP, and we are going to start submitting those applications to make sure, um, one, that you don't have to pay it back, but then two, that um, you know when tax time comes, you're not being taxed on that. Big time news right there. Big time. That's big, big time. time. EYL University, man, it's nothing Ooh. like it. It's nothing Ooh. like it on the market. And then Ooh, Professor Brooks. I, I believe that you're gonna be a, a, a tenured professor for us, right? Of course. So what, what we're gonna do with EYL University in 2021, we're making a lot of improvements. We're gonna have how many? Uh, eight right now. We're gonna have eight, what we call tenured professors, where once a quarter, they're gonna teach a class. So Ms. Business is one of the professors that's gonna teach a class once a quarter. Um, so it's, it's not like just a one-off. You oh, we got get, some names. We got some names. Oh, we got some big names. <laughs> it's a real university. No, it's a real school. No, big town. It's a real school. Big town. We had orientation. It really is. Shout out to Janet. Janet, that orientation was crazy. She ain't here right now. Shout out to Janet. Miss Business is the best in the game, man. What's your, what, what's your book? What, what is your book information? I didn't even know you had a book. So my book is 300 plus tax deductions. Um, so I pretty much set, I, I actually released it last year and it, it's pretty, it pretty much just lists out all of these tax deductions because the number one question I always get from people is what can I write off? What can I write off? Right. So um, what I did was I sat down and I compiled over 300 deductions. Um, I've seen some people in the comment asking where can they get the book? My website is Miss. So msbusiness101.com and um, the book should be right there on the homepage. You should be like an ebook um, link, but it, it's 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 good because that's the number one question I always get. Like, what can I write off? And I'm like, <laughs> well, you can write off everything with the right with the right process in place, right? So you're going you're going to see a lot. You're going to see a lot of Miss Business and <laughs> Earn Your Leisure. Rightfully 20, so. In 2021, man. Rightfully so. Big things. Yes. Big things. Big, big things, things are come. is coming. <laughs> oh, yo, that was his patois. You heard it. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, go on. You done know. You Yo, done my, know. My parents would be screaming <laughs> on the floor right now. <laughs> Shout out to the Jamaican massive out there, man. They adopted me, man. You know, I, I'm 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 halfway in the culture. I just ate some Jamaican food today. Tell them where. Uh, Gold Star two nineteen from White Plains. BX, what up? The Bronx, man. Dangerous grounds out there. They got it got spicy in there for a second. I had to get out of there. I said, Yo, let me get my jerk sauce to go. I'll be back. <laughs> it's a little. It's a little dangerous out there. Shout out to the Bronx, man. That's our birthplace, both of our birthplaces. Yeah, yeah, man. That's Shout out fact. to Soundview. He was born up in uh, Gun Hill. Yeah, Gun Hill. Yeah. Shout out to Gun Hill, man. That's where it all started for me. Um, Miss Business, it's been a pleasure. Thank you for, for coming in at the last minute, being a pitch hitter for us. We greatly appreciate it. How can the people contact you? What's your, what's your uh, social media handles and all that? So my social media handle across all platforms, Instagram, Facebook is Miss Business 101. Um, so you guys can email me on my on my pages, um, my consultation. So if you guys, I've seen a couple people asking if I'm accepting new clients, I am accepting new clients. So make sure you guys schedule your consultation. Make sure you guys get my book because I know that you all want to know about all the things that you can write off. So that is in there. Um, yeah, you need to slide in my DMs. I just hired somebody to help me answer my DMs because <laughs> <laughs> I like Matt. Like Matt's like, don't DM me. I'm like, no, DM me. So you know, however you guys need to get in contact with me, email Matt got an automated message. <laughs> what did you say? That's crazy. Matt got an automated message. That's crazy. Yeah. The DM. <laughs> Miss, Miss Business, thank you. Like I said, we I greatly appreciate it. that. Was a lot of that was a lot of gems. And this, uh -huh. like I said, this is not a usual EYL university class. This is an all-star. This is an all-star piece. We had to we had to push some things together at the last minute. So um we, we're gonna bring one person on for a couple minutes. Um so Miss Business, thank you. No right problem. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, always love, always love. So, thank you, thank you. I want to continue to watch. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. My graduates from my school being Forbes, backdrop. Backdrop. <laughs> A mic drop. Bag drop. Bag drop. <laughs>